All right, so Lucid Press is a desktop publishing tool. It's kind of like old Microsoft, excuse me, Microsoft Publisher. It's just for making really cool docs and visuals. And it's great for students because they can make brochures. You just start by logging on with your WRSD. Accounts are there. Students do it the same way with their EDUs. Um, and you can see all sorts of really interesting features, but the idea being you can create graphics. So if I go into my documents here, you can see different graphic things I've made for different things. Um, and the idea is you can make posters, you can make images, you can make brochures, you can make comic strips, you can make tweets, and you can even share with other people and work across. So this is an example of one that a student made me in summer school. And it was just a really interesting visual um, to answer this question uh, and, and organize their thoughts. So I thought that was really neat. Um, it's a tool that's a little bit underutilized uh, and I think it could be really interesting. So you can start from a template. There's lots of templates. These good looking ones here that I made, they're from templates, the book cover. Cool assignment one, for sure. Template, template. Electric Nacho is definitely a template. Or you can go with a blank document. Um, they, it, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than Google Docs, but that's the idea because you can do more than Google Docs and Google Slides. Uh, so the basics are over here on the side. Add pages, add text, add shapes, add pictures, add charts add other fun stuff. Um, so when you start with a basic text, then you get the editing box over here. So you have to pick your basic, what you want to build over here. And then this is where you can do all sorts of things to it. You can make it warp, you can make it round, you could make it different shapes, you could make it with a backfill and layout, all sorts of different fonts, you can go crazy. Um, it's almost really overwhelming. So now I made it. No, oh, I should center it. Oh, I need a border. And I'm going to make my border color. So I'm just kind of showing you what you can do with it. Oh, drop shadow. Yeah, let's do shadow. Let's do shadow. And I want to center it. And I want to center it in the middle. And I want to call it Jen. Uh, so you can do a lot. Uh, and it's you can edit, you can layer things, you can move things around. Um, so just wanted to give a quick overview of what the heck it was when you're done. Don't order prints. They're trying to sell stuff. You can use this to send right, uh, an assignment right to Google Classroom, like start with a template and then send it. But this is kind of the done button. People always struggle with that. Is then you can save it as a PDF or a graphic, for example. So if I wanted to make a fancy name tag, now I could download this as a graphic. Now, I have a lot of white space. I should have done better. <laughs> um, get this out of the way and hit download. It's generating my file. Works on Chromebooks, works on PC. And then I have my new graphic. And because I did transparent background, you can do a lot with it. So, basic overview of Lucid Press. Feel free to use it when you need it.